back again with another video and today I'm gonna be reviewing Barnsley obviously the boys went up um felt like it was two points drop but anyways I'll put it into full detail for you now um but before we get into the video make sure you hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications I uh, really appreciate all your support, 8th of uh, 500 now, uh, amazing support you guys have given me through these last few months of me doing YouTube, especially back in uh, June when I did the interview, go and watch that if you want to after this, but uh, anyways, um, let's get into the video then. Barnsley v Barnsley, what a game this was, two points dropped, um, felt like... Um, it could, from what I heard, it could have been like three or four nil. Cause uh, if Freddie Woodman was in goal and someone like Chris Van Offer was, then obviously it would have. But you know. But anyways, um, start off. Uh, Barnsley were all over us. Um, it felt like uh, <laughs> Coley Woodrow had a good header. Um. Coley Woodrow had a good head, I, wrote, I reckon uh, it was quite good. Um, obviously, he, um, if it was for Freddie Woodman, he would have scored, but Freddie Woodman made a really decent a few decent saves in that half, and I felt like um, I felt like it was a good um, felt like uh, he was really good this morning, um, this afternoon. But anyways. Um, then going into the second half, n nothing really happened until like the 60th minute when Andrea you, uh, put in a scrappy goal uh, f through Barnsley. I, f I believe it was like his second attempt at goal. Absolutely lunged in the swans end for what I heard. Um, but why did, why did, why are we so typical? We blooming. And then a few minutes after, we, it didn't take long, did it? Barnsley scored. Through the captain Alex Mowat, um, from a left footed shot, when I, I can't remember what it was like, but um, it, yeah, the left footed shot, I believe it went to the right of um, I, I believe it went to the right of uh, Freddie Woodman. But anyways, I thought I thought it was fairly decent game. Barnsley obviously are uh, celebrating them more but they are bottom of the league now and uh for us it felt like two points dropped we should be winning against these teams we have a crap record against these teams uh can't if we're gonna be conceding like that uh, i can't see i can't see us winning the south Wales derby um i, j I just think i think i think we could do a lot better i think we could do a lot better anyways um obviously um <clears throat> Our next game is uh, Brentford on Tuesday night. Uh, be vlogging that. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but it was, it did feel feel like uh, two, three, two points dropping. Um, felt like two points dropped, and it's gutting to see that we're conceding to these sort of teams. So, um, most probably, most probably one of the most devastating was like goals to concede, in my opinion. Um, apart, uh, apart from Stoke last uh, time out but Stoke did actually win against Fulham so um, at least we can clear our names now but uh, anyways uh, guys uh, that was the Barnsley sum up uh, I re again it was two points dropped anyways so um, so uh, yeah normally doing match reviews I'm going to talk about the next fixture which is against uh Brighton for the FC, the Bees, who obviously came back from 2 0 down to beat Millwall 3 2 today. Uh, brilliant result for them, obviously, um, going into the game Tuesday. Um, massive bloke for us was Joe Roden went off injured. I don't know what's happening with him right now. Um, maybe um, Cooper can put into more detail when his uh, press conference is released later on now. But uh, um, yeah, the key players for Brentford, obviously. Um, I walk in, say Ben Rama, Mbu, Podis Jansen, uh, Dav Rea, who actually scored no goal last time he came down to Liberty Stadium, which is with Blackburn when we won 3 1 on that uh, cold November night. Um, but, anyways, I reckon, I, re I, reckon this will I reckon this game will finish a 2 1 to win, to win to the Swans. I just reckon, I reckon, as we've got the bottom half teams out the way now I can't 
I think I think we'll bring something to the Brentford game, and obviously then we got scummed at home. So I I can't see I can't see us um, if we're going to be playing really good football. Obviously Cardiff, uh, shocking football from them. I hear the few of their fans saying they want Warnock out now. So um, really twisting the turns from Cardiff there. But I'm not here to speak about them. I'm here to speak about the Swans. Um, but anyways. I thought I thought Brentford overall had a decent performance today. Um, obviously coming back from that uh, two nil from two nil down to uh, draw in uh, no to win in three two sorry. Um, Ollie Watkins obviously putting in the last minute winner absolute scenes of the Brentford end apparently. Um, from a Millwall perspective, they would they would have wanted to win that. Um, obviously being on good form, but uh, yeah, guys, that uh, that probably sums up what i'm gonna say my pro my possible lineup i'll probably go with I, i'm expecting some massive changes and i mean massive i'm i'm talking in goal freddie woodman obviously left back kyle norton i want i don't want jake bidwell there um against brentford center backs if roden's not injured i'd say him and if not i'd give i'd give will mark a go uh, obviously the other centre back being Mike van der Horn. Um, right back I'd probably go with Connor Roberts. Obviously, um, Wales international right back. Um, centre mid then probably go with Fulton, uh, Grimes and Selina. Um, no Fulton Grimes and up to Cam and Selina. Probably won't happen, but you know, um, ne you never know because uh, Cooper might want to change his tactics from today. Left wing, I want to. I want to see Christopher Peterson. I desperately want to see him in action in the league. I, I, he gave Surridge and and Tom Carroll a goal today. I can't see why you can't give. Um, I can't see why you can't give Christopher Peterson his first day, his first league debut, and then up front, uh, and then right wing. I probably want to go with Andre Ayew. Obviously got the goal today, and then uh, and then up top. I want to see Borja Baston get back into the side. I thought Sarage was awful today. Wasn't um, didn't create much chances if I'm honest. But uh, anyways, guys, that concludes my uh, short Brentford preview. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, eight off um, five hundred now. Please make sure to subscribe to me. It really would mean a lot if you could uh, get me to five hundred subs. Um, obviously um obviously we've got brentford next so stay tuned and then next sunday is the big one cardiff city home oh, i can't wait for that when i'm buzzing uh sold out liberty um obviously so um looking forward to that hopefully meet the boys for that one and brentford and if you watch pure hyper gamers i did not i did i was me i was joking about not to vote the swans again so i'm here to clear my name uh jake um Jake Rayley said to me, "If uh, if the Swans lose to um, if the Swans lose to Sto um, Barnsley or draw, if we don't get the win, he'll speak like this." But um, but anyways, guys, uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, yeah, go and check out the other Swans vloggers because I'm pretty sure their vlogs will be up tonight. Curtis Connor. Reese especially. I'm gonna put a photo up on the screen now of Reese actually on that I follow the EFL I follow. But anyways, guys, uh, I'll catch you in the next one, which will probably be Championship score predictions for midweek. Tarag. <laughs>